If you ever wanted to draw with Posca markers on your iPad, now you can do it. I've created Posca brushes for Procreate. And today I'm going to show you how I draw this tag with those brushes. If you are interested in those brushes, the link to them is in the description of this video. And if you want, you can always draw with me this illustration using any other brush you like. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and I'm going to reply to you. And before we start, I want to let you know that I have more step-by-step -step tutorials on my Patreon. Link is in the description. And now let's start. Let's create a new canvas, the square canvas from Procreate. My drawing is inspired by a photo that I found on Pinterest. I'm going to add this to the description of this video too. I'm going to use this photo as a reference. We can add the reference picture here in the Actions menu, go to Canvas and then turn on Reference. Here let's pick Image and then Import Image. We can move it around and we can make it like this. Let's put it somewhere here and first I'm going to make a sketch of this duck. Let's open the colors and here's the color plot I'm going to use for this illustration. It is also linked in the description of this video, you can download it. And for the sketch, you can take any color. I'm going to grab this grey color here. The brush for the sketch I'm going to use is from Sketching and it's Peppermint. So I'm just going to draw a sketch of this duck. This sketch will be attached in the color palette files when you download them, so if you want you can use it. I'm going to speed up this process so you're not bored. So the duck is ready, I'm just going to change the position of it. And now let's do the background. A very simple sky and two clouds. Ok, the sketch is finished. And now I don't need to see the reference picture anymore, we can turn it off. Let's go here and turn off the reference. So now, before we are going to color this, we have to change the blending mode of this layer. So let's tap here and pick here Multiply. Let's turn down the opacity of this layer, let's set it to 27%. Now let's create a new layer and put it under the layer of the sketch. Let's take the color, this pink one here, and we are going to start with drawing the sky. For this I'm going to use the Posca wet brush. The brush size I'm using is 63% and I'm just going to color the background like this, the sky. When using those brushes I recommend you try to do it like you would do it on a normal paper, so don't drag and drop the color to fill the shape, just color it manually like that. This way it will look more realistic. And also you have a choice here, you can draw it digitally, so make layers and add different elements on different layers, or do it more traditionally, so draw everything on one layer. I'm going to go with the digital way because I'm used to it. So now I'm going to create a new layer to draw the duck. Let's change the color, take this one here, and I'm going to color the duck like that. Now I'm going to make the brush size smaller, 35%, and I'm just going to color the duck inside. And as you can see those brushes are opaque, so even when I draw on this pink color in the back, the color that I use now will cover it. Just like the Posca markers would do in real life. Now let's make a new layer to draw the beak. Let's take this yellow color here. And for this I'm going to change the brush. I'm going to pick the Posca basic brush. And the brush size is 16%. I'm going to color the peak inside like that. The difference between Posca Basic and Posca Wet is that the Posca Wet brush has a little bit more of that kind of streaky look to it when you go over your strokes, and the Posca Basic has it just a little bit. Ok, 
Okay, and I'm going to make the bar size smaller, 8%. And I will be more precise here. Now on the same layer, I can color the petals of the flower. Let's take the color for them. It's the same pink color as for the sky, this one here. And I'm just going to color the petals. I'm making the bar size bigger, 15%, and just coloring it. Now we can create a new layer to draw the stem. Let's take the color, this green one here, and let's just color that stem. Now on the same layer, maybe we can draw the clouds. Let's take the white color and draw the clouds. And here again you can see that that white color is going right over the pink color at the background. Drawing of those Posca brushes is easy and fun and really reminds the process of drawing of normal Posca pens on the paper. The brush set also includes five color palettes that will help you to create digital Posca art. Now let's make a new layer to draw the outline. Let's change the color to this one here. And the brush size I'm going to use for this is 10%. So I'm just going to outline the duck like this. And now for the details on the beak, I'm going to make the brush size smaller, 6%. And I'm going to use the same size of the brush for the flower. Ok, the outline is finished and now we can add some more details. Let's make a new layer for this and move it under the layer where we have the stem for the flower. Let's change the color to this dark pink one here. And the brush size will be 15%. And we can add the shadow to the flower petals. I have to make the brush size smaller, 7%. And now we can add some more detail to those petals. Let's take another color. This one here, the same as the duck color. And with the brush size 3%, we can draw some lines on the petals, like that. Let's use the same color to draw some light on the beak. Make the brush size bigger, 10%, and draw the light like this. And now let's draw the shadow there, change the color to this one here, and draw the shadow here at the bottom of the beak. and a little line here. Now we are going to add the shadow to the duck. Let's make a new layer for this. Let's move it under the layer of the beak. And now let's take the color, this purple one here, and draw the shadow here. Now under his head and beak. And 
there is a big shadow under the flower. And now we can add some details like that, some small lines on his chest. A little bit here on the back. And now do the same with other color, with the white color, to add some light. Draw a few lines here and then on his head. And also a little bit of light here on this side. We can turn off that sketch layer, we don't need to see it anymore. So let's tap here. And now let's tap on the layer of the outline and create a new layer above it. We are going to add some extra elements to the illustration. Let's start with the eye. Take the black color and draw an oval shape inside the eye. Now let's take white color and draw two small dots in there. Now maybe we can work on the clouds. Let's take the dark pink color, this one here, and draw a bit at the bottom of the clouds. Something like this. And as you know, I like to add little stars and dots in the sky, so for this I'm going to use the white color. And I'm going to draw stars like this, just crosses shapes like that, and some little dots. This always makes the illustration look cute. And now it's time to use the glitter brush and the metallic brush. Let's make a new layer for this. I recommend using those brushes at the separate layer, you will get better effect this way. Let's take the color, this purple color here. And let's take the brush, Posca Glitter Brush. With the brush size 4%, we can add some small details like this to the petals. And now let's change the color to this one here. And change the brush to Posca Metallic. And with the brush size 18%, we can draw some light on the stem. And for the smaller details, I'm going to make the brush size 5%. So now this illustration is almost finished, we can still add some paper texture to it. Let's make a new layer for this on top of everything. Change the color to black. And in my brush set I also have three paper texture brushes. Let's take this one, paper texture one. With the brush size 45% and with one stroke cover the whole canvas like that. Now let's open the layers and change the blending mode of this layer. Let's set this to overlay and turn down the opacity of this layer to 79%. And now as you can see, we have a paper texture added to this illustration. And this is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please share your drawings with me on my Instagram, I would love to see them. And now I have a special shoutout to my big fans from Patreon. Thank you so much for being there with me and supporting me. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video, bye!